Welcome everyone. So today I learned this awesome trick. So I wanted to share it with you guys because it's so amazing. I can't gatekeep it. So I'm going to share it. So I'm going to jump in right away and get it started. Let me share my screen. Okay. Let me go to my ads manager. So if everyone, if you have a YouTube account, you have an ads manager account. So the point of this, well, let me stop sharing for just a second. So the point of this today is you're going to set up, you're going to position yourself to pull a top viewed video in YouTube. So whenever it plays, before it plays, your video is going to play. So let's say you have, I don't know, you're doing age of detraction or you have a home that you just listed and you want that video to show. It's going to show before this other video show. So how powerful is that to get your home tour out there in front of people? Crazy, crazy powerful. All right, let me share again and then I will show us how to do that. Share. Okay, so you're gonna come into your ads manager account, your Google ads account. We're gonna come to new campaign. I'm here. You're going to go to this one. You're going to create without a goal guidance. You're going to come down and you're going to do a video in this right here. It allows this to be a YouTube video. Video views is what you want. All right. It's a video. So here I'm just going to name it test because I already set mine up. I don't want to set up another one. All of this you leave. So your budget right here, let's say $20 a day, right? Make sure you set an end date because if not, it's never going to end. So set your end date. Here is where you want to enter the location. So I'm doing my counties, surrounding counties, and my general grand blank where my property is. You can do all of United States. You can tailor this however you want to tailor it. You can pick your language. I only know English, so that's all I'm doing. Again, make sure you name your ad group so you know what it is. And you're gonna keep scrolling. My scroller doesn't scroll very quickly. Then you're gonna go to ad placement, right? So this is, this is the fun thing. Let me move us out the way so I can go over to YouTube. So, Type in whatever it is. If you're doing a property tour, type in like luxury properties in your area. So here's one with 18,000. From one so, realtor ooh, to another, these lead companies are say. charging agents way too much. Incredible custom home feature. You're going to copy the code, right? You're going to go back to the Google ads and you're going to put it right here. Paste. You're going to click YouTube videos. Did you copy the link or copy code? The link. Okay. Copy link. There's a copy code and a copy link. I want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, the link, the link. Okay. And here's your video. You're going to select that. And it might tell you how it is right here to add more videos. So what you can do is just go in, grab more videos, put them in here, right? Or you can add more channels as well. And then just put them in here. And you're going to come down. Then you're going to go back to your YouTube. See, yeah, just copy the link. Okay. And then you're going to go to your page. Let me go to my channel. Let me pause it. And let's say I, this is my new listing and I want everybody to see this, right? Let me get oh. my, hit the share, hit the copy button. Go back to the Google ads. You're gonna paste it here, right? There it is. So that's gonna, so this video is gonna pop up before <laughs> this video plays every single time. How powerful is that? That is fantastic. That is so rad. Right? 
there's <laughs> one there's one area that was still red which was the the end date you show you chose end date but you didn't choose an actual date yeah because i'm not gonna run this ad oh, this okay. is just to show you guys because i already i already did this ad. 150 million impressions see oh. that that's awesome and then you come down so after you place in your video you're gonna put your URL. Ooh, your url here uh, where you want it to go. So you can put your video there again. You can put your website, wherever you want to drive them to, put it there. You're going to do your call to action and it's going to be watch now because you want them to watch it. That's the purpose of this. You're going to do your headlines. So this is grand blank. So you can do buying in grand blank, you know, do a longer one, include the city, everything that you know, you want it to say again with the description. I think I just did like buying in grand blank, living in grand blank, Michigan. So I just kept it SEO friendly. So that way it can grab your SEO, put in your ad name again, cause you want to know, you know, where this is coming from. And this is what's the super cool part. This right here is only going to cost you 10 cents. Look at this over here. All your performance over here at $20 a day with the 10 cent behind it. And that 10 cent, this actually helps it boost your performance and all of the good stuff you want it to do. And then you just hit create campaign. So Ooh. simple, didn't know about this. I don't think anybody knows about uh -uh. this. Nope, this is awesome. Huh, right? I love it. I know it was like super sweet, super short. So who has some questions? Look at that cute little ad. So basically what you just did is created an ad that goes in front of someone's listing. So can you show us how you found the listing you wanted to be in front of? Yep. So here, when I go to YouTube, let me move us out the way. Everything's in my way. So I just typed in luxury homes in Michigan in the search bar, right? Okay. And then you looked at like who had the most traffic. Yep. yep. Which video had the most traffic that I can throw my video in front of? So here in Michigan, we don't have luxury homes like that. We're not big. You know, that's not what we're known for. You know, like you are in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But we do have some, right? And like the 8.7 views, 6.6 .6 views. Not a crazy, crazy ton, but that's what we're working with here. So grab those. Yeah, no, that's great. And for 10 cents, 10 cents every time someone looks at it or 10 cents a day, like what is that 10 cents for? Um, The 10 cents is for, I don't really know. So <laughs> that's what I learned is to put 10 cents in there. I, I think, like it. I, I know. I can't give you a real answer on that. I could have tried to make up one, but I don't know. Um, so, I think Carrie, I, I have a question. Yeah. So where'd you learn this trick? <gasps> Through um John Lee. Who, who's that? John he, Lee is he's amazing. At EXP. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, say how much he charges per hour. For a call with him, whether it's a advice call, a coaching call, whatever call, it's five thousand dollars an hour. <laughs> and people pay it. I'm like, I love him. I was in, did, I was watching did one you of his pay, Did you pay that? No. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, no. do you know that QR code that Wendy sent us um, at AXPCon? And it's like, scan here, type in um, whatever the code was um, to get his free three-day boot camp. That's him. And okay. I did that. Okay. And I told John, I'm going to live with him for a year. Cause I, I need to, I need to get in his brain, but maybe the 10 cents is like a retargeting type thing to make, give it that extra boost. Right. Yeah. Cause the $20 was, okay. So that was your max per day. So I think it would be 10 cents every time someone saw it up to $20. That may, that right. maybe something, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to let us know when you get your first bill. <laughs> yeah. I know. Right. I'm like, just do it. Just, I, a, I'm over here like Wendy, just do it. Yeah. Is there a question mark next to the 10 cent thing to give you an explanation? 
Mm, let me see. You know how it gives you a little bit of right. insight there? So right here it tells you, yeah, with Target, your cost per view. Cost per view, okay. Also, when you're adding more videos, because you said put more of the most watched videos. Yep. Are you doing them all like... Like, I know you picked luxury homes. Are you doing them all luxury homes? Or are you doing them at different price points to capture a wider audience? I'm doing them off of, I'm doing all luxury homes or I'm picking their channel, but I'm doing it off the ones who gets the most views because I want my video to pop up in front of them. Right. But are you only selecting ones that are luxury or are you yes. selecting other videos that get high views that maybe aren't considered luxury that are, I mean, is your list? Right. You can definitely do either. Yeah, you can do either. I just did all the luxury and I think I did a luxury media company that records the um, luxury homes. So the, the ad that for you that you want to play before all of these is for a luxury listing. Yes. Okay, I think I missed that part. All right, thank yeah. you. Yeah, but no, definitely pull in anything that's related to what you want them to see. Anything at all that's related. And you can even put their channel in there instead of just a video as well. So if it's a channel that has tons of subscribers, use the channel too, because you can mix and match them. It's probably a better idea because uh, a video that you put there may have been an old video that just have a lot of views so maybe not a lot of people are still looking at it so a channel that's performing well probably better than a, a actual yeah. video. I did both with mine when I did my ad I think I did three videos and three channels that's cool so what are your results are you seeing uh like I just started it like three days ago, this <laughs> three days ago. <laughs> I just started three days ago, but it's so genius. I'm like, I have to share it. I have to share it. It's amazing. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, I'm going to do that on all of my videos in front of all my competition. Right? <laughs> Did you test it, Carrie? Did you like go? No, and I just started mine three days ago. So mm -hmm. I have no idea what it's going to do, how it's going to perform. Yeah. I wonder if you go to watch that video, will you see your ad? Oh no, she did test it. And she oh, said, that, that's I was yeah, that I part I tested. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. I know. Wow. She told me the other day and she's like, and it worked and I'm there in front. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> Carrie, can you, I mean, can you not, not see your analytics right now in the past three days? I yeah, she can still. That. Yeah, share your screen, Carrie. Go I'm like, I don't want to do that. I Go just, to your video. I just run and do things. Right. Oh. Yeah, go to your video on Let YouTube. Go. It would be in the ads account, though, wouldn't it? No, go, no, go to your video. Hold on. Let's just go, on. yeah, your channel. Your, your YouTube account, yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then scroll down. Click on, on your video. Okay. I did, hold on, I got to, I did this video. Okay, click on it and then go down below where it says analytics. It's a blue, yep, there you go. So there's my analytics. Yeah, look at your, it jumped. So there it is. Since, oh, okay. 4.1 thousand more than usual. More than usual. Yes, it's working. <laughs> so wow. I guess it's working, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is super cool. Yeah. So all the all the views that came from that video were directly from that ad? No, not all of them. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Seven. It jumped. It's it's high. Yeah. Let's see. I'm on my phone because so my screen's small right now. I can't really see what's going on. Yes. So I think that's definitely worth doing when you get your next listing, you know, to position yourself above what other agents are doing. And and it doesn't have to be your listing either. I mean, if you no, have like anything. a community yeah. video and yeah. you anything. want your video out there, you know, yeah. Yeah. Because like I have right now, I have a client who's going to be um, moving to Texas Mm -hmm. um in uh you know in march anyway so i asked him you know if he needed an agent in texas he says oh no i already went to youtube video we already uh scouted 
in uh, an agent and all that stuff. So they are there. Their buyers out there, you know, watching and going to YouTube channel looking for uh, for agents. So you really yep. have to put yourself out there. So, That's yeah. why it's so important to do your local videos. Yes. Living yes. in five things I wish I knew before I moved yes. to this area. Pros yes. and cons of living in this area. Right. Uh, uh, like interesting facts about this area, cost of living about this, you know, area, like those area videos, you don't mm -hmm. even have to put money behind. Those are the ones. And then make sure your SEO keywords are all about yeah. moving in and yeah. moving to yeah. your area. So yeah, that's how my friend from high school found her home. And I was like, I have an agent there. And she's like, oh, sorry, I went to YouTube and I watched yep. the videos on yep. you know, what's there. And that's the agent I used. I was like, damn it, it works. It works, but it didn't work for my referral, but whatever. Yeah. And all right. But uh, another little, this has nothing to do with YouTube. It has to do with Facebook and Instagram. Little keep in mind note, when you post your stories, I'm only talking about stories, only post one at a time. The more you post, the lessen your reach. Does that make sense? One at a no. time, one a day? One a day. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What do you mean stories? What do you mean by stories? Those are the ones that disappear in 24 hours. Oh, you're talking about the Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Facebook I, and well, Instagram. It's like a Facebook, uh, like uh, Instagram store. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. The more you post in a day, you're lessening your reach. So just keep that in mind. Post one story a day. But I thought you want like your story to keep going. You want to post every day. So because you have right. a story so post again. constantly. Yeah. 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 Post just one a day. And it depends too. Do you want your story to reach tons of people? Or do you want a bunch of stories out there that reach a very tiny amount of people? So I one like story. That. Yes. One story a day. Yeah, I do notice that I get less views the more stories I post. Yep. Yeah, and then the one story gets a lot. Like the first one you do gets a lot and then it goes yeah, down. Yeah. So interesting. Another it's little tip for you. I believe it's also better to wait till your last story expires to, to repost. Yep. yep, let it expire. Also, you don't want to like string you along, you know, continuously. Nope. You can post like 60 seconds after it expires. Just let it expire. Crazy. Yeah. I oh. know, right? I love this. Damn I it. know. I know That's it was like a short, tip. quick tip, but it's such a powerful tip. Like so yeah. powerful. Well, yeah. Cause you wonder, it's like, how did those people get put in front of my video? Right. Like did why they choose, are they like, did they my choose video? my video? Because we have a lot of views and they know I'm paying for ads. <laughs> yes. That's a piggyback right there. I mm -hmm. like it. Yeah. Absolutely. And I learned when you do YouTube ads, you know how there's an ad that plays in the beginning of the video. There's an ad that plays in the middle. There's an ad that plays at the end. I was told, do not have the ad run in the middle of your video. It's a huge disruptor and it it goes against you negatively on YouTube. So you, you can mean, have the ad play you in mean the, the cards, the cards that go in the middle. Or no, the it's an ad. Do you know how if you're ever watching like a long video and like five minutes in, like an ad will come up real quick and then you got to wait the two seconds or whatever to dismiss it. Mm -hmm. I was taught don't ever have that ad pop up because you can choose when you set your channel up and everything. Don't have it pop up in the middle of the video. All, the beginning and the end, fine, but never in the middle. I've always thought that the whatever I was watching initially was done because a lot of times after the ad is complete, it goes on to the next thing video and it doesn't complete what I was watching. And then I'm like, what the hell? How do I watch this and get to see it to completion? And so yeah. that makes sense that, that that middle ad can make a consumer feel like, your video's done and you kind yeah. of really shut it off. Yep. Yep. So just set it up. No ad in the middle for YouTube. Can you show us how to set that up in, um, on a channel? <laughs> nope. Cause I, <laughs> I am not we that kind you of the tip You figured out. <laughs> All right, I'm just giving you the tips. YouTube that. No, 
<laughs> but now, I think it's in the setting profile part when you're setting up um, your profile. Maybe that feature becomes only available after you have search a certain number of um, so many followers. Because I did not see that when I was setting up my uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's either five hundred or a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. So that could be a thing too. Makes sense. Yeah, That's I'm so just cool. um, yeah, I'm just now diving really into YouTube. So when I learn, I'm gonna get on here and show you guys too. Looks like I gotta work on YouTube. I know, right? And everyone work on evergreen stuff for your YouTube channel, because that's what's going to get you the subscribers. That's going to get you the clients that you want to work with because they're going to come to you. Yeah. Those are where you get your leads, your, your genuine leads. Like I get people all the time. Thank you so much. Cause when you do your evergreen, like you bring your personal experiences into it. So when I talked about the cost of living of, you know, in Henderson, Nevada, I talked about like when I moved here, you know, my, my registration for my car was $60 every two years in Oregon. Guess how much it is in Nevada. And I went over what it is for, you know, my, uh, I gave a year of my Jeep and then I gave my husband's year in his truck. And then I gave my son's, you know, year old, right. Car, you know, so I gave them a little examples about how much it is actually here. And I need to know that, you know, and then, you know, when you talk about like, I had no idea how hot it was here, you know, I didn't even want to check the mail. So when you make it like real, because you live there, right, you know, exactly what it's like to live there. Talk about it. Don't just go and chat GBT that shit because they're not going to you know, you can use it as a guide, obviously, but then also bring in your story. So mm -hmm. it does work better. But yeah, you get people saying, thank you so much. This was so helpful. I really wanted to know that. I didn't know about this and I didn't know about this. And this is great, you know, so, so. Yeah. Another little tip that I was taught, it's great to make like market video updates and things like that, but those are more for your stories because say you do this week's market update, well, guess what? Next week, it's irrelevant. So don't put so much time into it because it only matters for that moment. Focus on, you know, like Wendy was saying too, your evergreen videos, because that is what's gonna sit there and it can be years and years later. And then finally, one of your videos would take off. Now you're getting all these calls and you're like, where's everyone calling me from? Oh, I saw your YouTube video. So it's, it's good to make market videos or, you know, updates on things, but don't put too much time into it because the next day they're seriously irrelevant. They don't matter right. anymore because it's changed. Yeah. That's how you started this. Um, can you show me just the, the beginning part? Yep. Let's see. This will be in my, the recording will be okay. in my group. But you're going to start this off at your ads campaign, your Google ads, and you're going to start with create a new campaign. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Yeah. But yeah, everything step-by-step step will be in the replay for you. And I'll have that up in a little later today. And to find your Google ads, you know, all the boxes in the right-hand side of your screen that has like Google drive and all that, that's where you can go to find Google ads. So just scroll down there and that's where you can find that page. Perfect. Do you know if this affects you if you're trying to grow organic reach on YouTube? The fact that you're paying, they're saying once you start paying, you're going to be have to continue. No, paying. no, it does. That's not going to affect you at all. Okay. Because it's like, it's. Google. They always say that, but yeah, they always say that, but your ads. Like, I run ads and I have freaking 77,000 followers now. Wow. From running ads. So, like, how is that hurting me? <laughs> right yeah you know, so and then you know once they land on your channel everything you post they get emailed that you posted a new video you know mm -hmm. that's that many people that see i post a new video like that's so cool you know you have like having an email thousand followers windy i mean subscribers something like that i don't know i may have uh, it might be 57 or 67 the queen. i don't know it might be 67 I know it's over 50,000 and it's because I started running ads on my luxury uh, videos. 
And that's so only I, like six, six, what, a year ago? Because you started doing- Yeah, it was only like, I, I got over 50,000 in less than six months. Wow. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Yeah. So, and I thought that too. I was like, oh, I'm running ads. I'm going to screw up my organic. I'm like, who cares? <laughs> Who cares? I got more power. People, right? I mean, who cares? You know, <laughs> I know if I can show my sellers that, you know, I have over 500,000 views on their YouTube video, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna know what they've chose the right agent, you know? Well, so. funny story. My listing that I'm going to be closing on soon, I ran the YouTube ad behind it and guess what? got a buyer, not my buyer, but they were working with an agent, saw it in Florida, no, Georgia, they were in Georgia. And so the agent came, did a walkthrough on the FaceTime with them. They put the offer in and that's how wow. they found my listing. That's amazing. Wow. Yep. That's and amazing. they're in Georgia moving here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Good story. Yep. YouTube is a good little platform. I love it. Yeah. So the agent flew from Georgia to Michigan to do the work? No, the, the agent's here in Michigan. They are oh. working with this agent. Oh, that makes sense. Sorry, yeah. that was that was a dumb question. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's There's so no bad, though. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. Yes, any other questions? None? All right. Well, thank you guys for coming. I just, I was excited to share that. I'm like, I just learned this. I just made my ad. Now I got to share it with all you guys. So you can do the same thing. Awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So and let me know. It was great. Yes. I was going to say, once you guys do it, let me know how it goes. Yeah. Sherry, do you have a write, question? Write down your stats before you do it. And then you'll know how it's doing. Right. Perfect. Well, all right, guys, thank you for coming. And I will see you next Thursday. Bye. Thank you. Bye.